Hey, hey, y'all, John Patrick here, your Charlotte Realtor, bringing to you your July 2017 uh, Charlotte Market Snapshot, you know, monthly market report. And if you've never watched one of mine before, I do year over year, so this will be July 2016 versus July 2017, and just what exactly is the market doing here in Charlotte. So to jump right in, there's a lot of the same good news we've had all year long basically, uh, and a couple of the same bad news as we've been having all along too. So the good news is uh, new listings up 5.9%, more houses coming on the market for sale, and we desperately need that. Pending sales up 16.1%. So those are sales that they're currently under contract, but they haven't yet gotten to closing, and then closed sales are up 3.1%. So we've got more houses coming on the market, which is great, but look at those pending sales. We've still got a lot of activity in terms of, of, of buyers out there looking at houses. Talk a bit more about that in a minute. Uh, list to close, so when it gets listed to when it actually closes, is down nearly 11%. Days on market until sale down 16.7%. Um, average list price up 5.4%. Average sales price up 5.0%. And so People are getting, according to this, 97.3% on average. This is across the entire market our MLS serves. Uh, 93, excuse me, 97.3%, that's up 0.6%. So what does that mean? What does this all mean? Well, very briefly, it means that the same uh, constrictions in our market have continued for a couple of years now. We're, we're getting more houses coming on the market. More people are making the decision to move, but there's far more buyers out there that are either moving within our area or moving into the area and looking for houses. Uh, the, the resales are, are not doing it and the new construction is not making <laughs> picking it up enough. It's one of the reasons you see so many apartments going up around here and why rents continue to jack up. So what does this kind of mean getting down to the last two numbers here? Inventory homes, uh, uh, inventory of homes for sale down 19.8%. Think about that. We've lost, sold. <laughs> We're down 20% on the number of houses that are actually available for sale right now. It's down 20% over this time last year. That leaves us with a month's supplies of homes, 2.6 months. Now, a balanced market would give you somewhere around five, six months. We're half that. This is a seller's market. Now, for sellers, that's good. Tends to be a lot of people out there that want to look at your house. Uh, but, you know, when you're in the trenches and you see it day by day, you know, if the house isn't taken care of and 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 it, it isn't ready to sell, it isn't prepped to sell, it can sit on the market for a while. If it's overpriced, it'll sit on the market for a while. Buyers have more information available at their fingertips to go out and do research. So they might want a house and they might be excited, but they're not going to overpay dramatically most of the time. Also, they can see what's out there. They see all the pictures. You can just click on your tablet or your phone and see pictures of everything else. If yours isn't ready, well, they're going to judge it against that and they're going to be a little cool to it. Might take you a while to get it sold. But the most important thing typically is the price. And if you're thinking about selling, hey, give me a call. Let's have a, a no obligation conversation uh, just to kind of talk about the market and how I work, how I market properties, and, and, and what it really takes to get a house ready to sell in this market. If you're a buyer, don't fret. There are a lot of good homes out there. You just have to have kind of the right strategy sometimes to get into them and, uh, you know, kind of kiss fr a few frogs along. No, that's a tongue twister. Kiss a few frogs along the way to find the one that's going to be that right fit for you and that's meant to happen. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. My information will be below. Otherwise, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And if I can do anything for you or anybody you know who wants to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, Reach out. Let me know.